Early in the show, Tom Royer was talking about insects that impact our crops. So Justin, when it comes to livestock, are there any insects that are still causing issues in the fall? Yeah, we're still seeing remnants of some of our summertime populations. We still see horn flies and certainly see some levels of tick infestations on both cattle and horses. Uh, again, once you start seeing more activity at this time of year, sometimes it's just related to them trying to seek shelter and, and get ready for the winter. Uh, but sometimes with a warm fall like we've had, is it's all about just they're more active because of the temperatures. So when it comes to, to ticks, now the tick population actually really never goes away even when the temperatures do start to decrease even though we think it might. Yeah, yeah absolutely. When we think about ticks in Oklahoma, they could be here year round. Uh, we just have different species that are more active. Most people will always see the lone star tick, the tick with the white dot on there in the summertime, spring, summer. Uh, but we have different ticks that come on in the fall and winter time periods. And we also have some ticks that have really long life cycles. So if you think about the ticks that were laying their eggs two years ago, some of those ticks may just may be becoming adults now. So it's, it's kind of a complex thing. It's not directly related to, to temperatures. It's more related to uh, if we have extreme things like drought or flooding and stuff like that. And as long as we have animals, we'll have ticks. And then speaking of animals, it's not just livestock that we have to be concerned with when, you know, going, uh, you know, going out into the winter, it's also our pets as well. Yeah, absolutely. You, some people think once we come into the fall, winter time periods, they can kind of relax on some of their, their, uh, their, their tick and flea control. And really what they need is they need to be consistent because we still have active flea populations. We still have active tick populations that can get on dog, dogs and cats. And so that just because it start, it's, it's getting into that period where we see a season, seasons are about to change, we still need to make sure our products are up to date and our pets are protected. You know, go, going back to livestock though, when it comes to horn flies and ticks, is the management that producers can, uh, the management uh, steps that they can take, is it similar for in the summer months as it is, you know, for right now gearing up for the winter? No, it's, it's slightly different because we don't want to try to control a population that's going to naturally go down. So basically once we start seeing our, our nighttime temperatures start going down, as well as our day length starting to shorten, we don't need to be worried about so much management of these external parasites, but we do need to think about in, in, in those cases where we have uh, excessive horn flies or excessive ticks, then you certainly need to do something to knock them down, but you're gonna have some temperatures that are gonna help you to naturally decrease those populations. All right, thanks, Justin. Dr. Justin Talley, Livestock Entomologist here at Oklahoma State University.